Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video on something called air mode handling types in iNav. There's a new one come along in iNav 2.6 called Stick Center Once. You've probably seen it in the documentation and uh, looked around like I did trying to figure out what it actually meant. It's not yet kind of listed in the wiki as I'm making this video. Uh, I'm sure it will be soon. But I thought it'd be worthwhile doing a quick video explaining what air mode handling types are and why we need them and what the new one does that's different from the two that have been knocking around for quite a while. Now I need to say two thank yous for this. First of all is to say thank you to a gentleman called Les, one of my patrons who asked this question on one of my uh, Patreon only live streams uh, just a couple of days ago and he uh, he kind of asked this with two minutes left on the live stream uh, so I didn't really have a chance to kind of get into it there. The second thing I need to do is say a massive thank you to a gentleman called Pavel Spukowski. Now, Pavel, uh, a buddy of mine, he's one of the INAV developers, lovely chap, brain the size of a planet, and he has another YouTube channel uh, and he talks about INAV all the time. I'll put a link down below. If you like iNav, if you're an iNav pilot, or if you're thinking about finding out how it all works, uh, do check out Pavel's channel. Go across there, go and become a subscriber and support him. He is doing a fantastic job helping the community understand how this works as well. So with all that said, let's jump on a couple of slides and let's first of all, uh, before we get into the new air mode handling type, talk about what air mode handling is and why we need it. So when we enable air mode on a model, air mode's been around for quite a long time, initially introduced in things like beta flight, air mode makes sure that even when the throttle is at a low position, the PID or PIFF loop is working all the time. Now, why is that important? Well, in the old days, uh, it used to be that when you put your throttle to zero, uh, the PID loop kind of shut down as well. So it wasn't helping you fly the model at all. Now, in the old multi-rotor days, before we had all the high performance stuff, that was okay. Uh, then air mode came in so that even when you're flipping and flopping and you're doing acrobatic, and you might be turning the throttle off briefly while you're doing a maneuver, you still get all the benefit of the PID loop running away in the background, making sure that the model isn't uh, doing something it shouldn't do and is doing what you're asking it to do with the roll, pitch and yaw. So air mode is something that's come across and we also have it in fixed wing. Now air mode is brilliant in fixed wing because fixed wings will absolutely fly when you turn the prop off. It's called gliding. We've been doing it a long time. Gliding is very handy and uh, can be used an awful lot, not just for gliders, but in regular planes as well. It might be when you're coming into land, you might drop the throttle to zero and kind of glide it into the grass. That's how I land mine normally. But there are some problems with having air mode turned on. If the air mode is always turned on, even when the throttle is zero, the I term of a PID loop can become saturated because what iTerm does, I'm not going to get too much into it, I have a whole video uh, linked below on what PID does and how it all works, but the iTerm is there to get rid of any sustained deviation and uh, because it's trying to fix a sustained deviation but every time it tries to fix it nothing happens because it's not go going to happen because it's sat on the grass, uh, then the iTerm just increases, increases, increases and eventually completely saturates. And that's not a great place to start when you want to fly and it can push the servos into some really weird positions. So ideally what you want is you kind of want iTerm turned off when the model is kind of sat on the grass and in some other situations as well. So that's what the air mode handling types is doing. It's actually turning off air mode uh, or suppressing air mode and the iTerm part of it so that what happens is you don't get that saturation and that I term wind up is sometimes referred to before you throw the model. So let's talk about the three air mode handling types that iNav have. The bottom one, stick center ones, uh, I'll get to last, that's the new one that was introduced in 2.6. So these are ways to stop that I term wind up and saturation happening before you get to fly. The first one is the most basic and easy to understand. It's called throttle underscore threshold. This is the default for multi-rotors. 
Uh, and the way it works is that if the throttle's below 1300, it basically doesn't start everything working until it passes 1300, at which point it stops suppressing uh, iTerm and iTerm comes into effect and you get all of that goodness. Air mode is in full effect until you disarm the quad. So, and that just means that, again, while it's the quadcopter sat on the ground, before you raise the throttle past 1300, iTerm isn't getting uh, confused and getting its knickers in a twist. The next one then is the one that's currently the default for fixed wing. Although I hope they change it to the last one, but we'll come on to that in a minute. So this is called stick center. And the way this works is every, um, every time the throttle's in the low position and the roll and pitch stick are in the center position, it disables iTerm wind up. It stops it happening. Now this is great for things like uh, takeoff. So for example, when it's sat in the grass and you've got the, uh, the throttle low, it's all armed. The sticks are in the middle of position. Uh, it stops the item winding up and saturating and moving your, your servos out of position. And that's kind of working fine. The last one works like that, but only for the first time that the throttle's in the low position and the sticks are in the middle position. Once you start moving the sticks, then iNav assumes that the fixed wing is flying and then air mode is on, iTerm is in full effect and you're zooming about. Now, which one are you going to use in which situation then? Well, obviously, if you use a multi-rotor, you're going to use throttle threshold. That seems to make the most logical sense. Uh, while it's sat on the ground and the throttle isn't, uh, isn't raised, then the item is suppressed. And then as soon as it is uh, flying around, then air mode is on, item is working. The stick center can be a little bit tricky. And the reason it can be a little bit tricky is that if you remember, it, it suppresses iTerm when the throttle's in a low position and the sticks are centered. There are times when you're flying a fixed wing, going back to the gliding thing, that you will have the controls in that position. And when they're in that position, iNav is going to uh, be suppressing iTerm and that's not a great thing you want really if you're gliding you know if you kind of have it trimmed and it's just gliding along or if it's coming in on an approach and you've you know it's kind of flying straight and level you've got everything at the center position and you've got your throttle off because it's coming in to land on the grass uh, again air mode is going to be uh, suppressed and that's not what you really want that's where the last one comes in so We've got to the answer eventually within the context of everything else. Stick center once stops the iTerm wind up on launch. But once you are flying, you've moved the sticks away from the center position, then iTerm and air mode is in effect. Even if you're in the air and you're flying around, you decide to glide. Or even if you're doing things like you're coming into land and you have the motor shut off and the roll and pitch are in the middle position and you're just kind of waiting it to kind of kiss the grass and slide to a stop. Uh, air mode is still on, you've still got all the benefit of all the control inputs even though the throttle is at zero and the sticks are in the middle position. So hopefully, as I said in future, stick center once will become the default. Uh, but if you're on iNav 2.6 uh, and you are a fixed wing pilot, stick center once uh, could make an awful lot more sense than using the stick center that we've been using up to now. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.